A very special playthrough episode today, friends. We are on location to do a massive six-player playthrough of this. Wavelength from designers Wolfgang Varsh, Alex Haig, and Justin Vickers. This game is distributed by Asmodee and was recently fulfilled from Kickstarter. It's showing up in game stores everywhere and we're going to show you how it works. We're pitting the three of us at Good Luck High Five against three players from our regular game group, including my wife, Colleen, and our friends, Katie and Emily. This is a party game of the highest order, so without further ado, let's get on the same page. Welcome, everybody. We are on location at Maria's house Ooh, here for hi. a very special episode of uh, Good Luck High Five Board Games. <laughs> we are playing through Wavelength today. Now, Wavelength is a party game that is a psychic guessing game. Here's how it works. There are a massive amount of these continuum cards. They are double-sided. One side is fairly normal, and the other side, the, the uh, rule book claims, is kind of what? Um, so, how this will work is the machine all sits inside of the box. Here are the left brain and right brain tokens to represent the teams. And the magic of the machine is uh, there is a scoring wedge. There are two of them as you rotate the wheel around. So on your turn, you are trying to get your team to line up the needle with the with the wedge. However, the team doesn't know where the wedge is. So if my uh, continuum was ordinary and extraordinary, I would secretly uh, open the machine, look at where uh, the, the wedge has landed, <laughs> And in this case, it has landed directly in the middle. Ooh. So I'm going to cheat it a little bit for the example and make something fairly extraordinary. I will then close it, still looking at it, move the needle, and turn it to my team and give them a clue trying to get them to guess something that is fairly extraordinary but not, like, the most extraordinary. Uh, so I might say something like, um... A superhero. Oh, that's pretty extraordinary. That's pretty extraordinary. <laughs> but not as extraordinary as like an alien or whatever. They'll discuss it for a short <laughs> period. <laughs> <laughs> like a superhero would probably be like somewhere over there. Sure. Yeah. Uh, once the once my team has accepted where uh, on the needle they are going to turn, we will turn it back to the other team, and they will indicate with this little pencil indicator where they think the center of the wedge is, either left or right of where the needle is. Once they've decided, we will reveal. We'll say, oh, we got three points. Right. We're pretty yeah. close. And they said, we think the wedge is to the right. They were right, so they'll get one point. First team to 10 points wins. Nice. And you alternate back and forth like that until there is a winner. We have uh, flipped a coin, and we have decided that Team Good Luck High Five is going first. Ooh. So uh, we will be Team Orange, and because your team is going second, uh, you have one point that you start the game with. And you guys can deliberate and discuss a team name while I spin the machine. Spin the machine! Spin the machine! <laughs> All right. I feel it's weird that it's called a machine. It's called yeah. a machine. I'm going to bury the one that we've already done, and before I look at the wedge, surfers. I'm going to pick up a continuum card and choose which side I want. That is definitely the side that I want. Then I will reveal to myself where this is. Don't look at him. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> Close it back up. All right, so my continuum is unsexy animal <laughs> and sexy animal. Oh my god! And Perfect. I'm gonna say uh, like a well kept stray dog. Wait, <laughs> how does a dog both stray and well kept? It's because, a well kept like, stray imagine dog. Imagine like Lady and the Tramp, and the Tramp I Ooh, think is a well kept. Wait, he's sexy. That's difficult though because yeah. I would say that the Tramp is sexy. <laughs> Tramp is sexy. Yes, no table talk. <laughs> yeah. But I, I feel like the clue is trying to point yes. us towards an unsexy, unsexy animal. animal. Uh, <laughs> but so, not wildly unsexy. Because, like, a cockroach is, like, really unsexy. Yes, like, my starting point is about there. And I think, like, yeah. I, I could argue on to either, like, in no, either direction from like there. it's, like, the sexiest version of a stray dog. <laughs> yeah, so like that. Like, yeah. a stray dog definitely has some sexiness in the same way that uh, the bad boy in your yes. high school yes. has sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Again, now we're talking, like, way sexy. Because <laughs> I don't think what we're going No, I don't think that's what he meant, yes. but I feel like that is just a universal truth. Yes. Yes. Fair enough. Are we good here? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. All right. Did you guys come up with a team name? Did you? 
Wavelength surfers. Wavelength surfers. Yes. All right. So wavelength surfers is the center of the wedge, left or right of the wedge. Right. Yeah. Do you think it's right? Yes. Okay. Right. Oh boy! And oh wow! And the reveal. Woo! Oh. Yes! yes. All right, so we're going to score two, and you were correct that it is to the right, so we'll score another point. All right. Yeah. And that's nice. How it works. Yeah, right. we could have gone slightly sexier. Yeah. With the yes. Yes. Oh, you I could know. always go slightly. Yeah. Sexier. <laughs> All right, Kayak, you are up. Uh, so. We'll a stray dog is generally like an unsexy animal, but it's a dog, so like it's kind of a little bit sexy. Plus, it's well kept, so like not the most sexy, but definitely on the unsexy side, but not like a feral cat. All right, okay, our game is tied at two to two. All right. Spin that, that machine! machine. <laughs> <laughs> Classic cheer, cheer, wheel of machine! <laughs> Do you think that this is more or less exciting than spinning the big wheel on the price is right? Uh, more? More? It's like, it's like a good amount. Bold statement. Bold statement. I, I want the easier. card to be, there, I want that to be a spectrum card, like, more exciting than spinning the wheel of the price is right. Less exciting. I just wonder how the wheel is on the Me too. right. Because some people fall over. Right, they like, can't get it. I feel like that would make it satisfatisfying to spin that. Yeah, yeah. or maybe not. All right, unhealthy, so we have a continuum healthy. of unhealthy and healthy. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, and your clue is sleeping in late. Mm. Sleeping in late. Sleeping, sleeping in late. 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 Not Ooh. sleeping in light. Sleeping in light. <laughs> like a plant. Oh, like a pool of light. <laughs> I mean, I would say that it probably trends towards more unhealthy. Yeah, <sighs> you think? But, but, not, but, not, so but not very unhealthy. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't think there's really any studies that show that it's that unhealthy. Right. I say this as a person who sleeps in late like constantly. All the time. <laughs> right. Well, and like, I don't, is it healthy for your spirit? Mm. Or healthy for your mm. body? body. Mm -hmm. Sometimes like, you need it. Right. Yes, your body, yeah. if your body wants it. Sometimes I think it's good for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, like, sometimes more sleep is good is better, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it means you're neglecting your responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> it was unhealthy for your profession. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know, I think that maybe it's kind of near the center. Yeah, oh, I think I think so. But do you, which side which side of the center do you think it's on? Based on what I know about K Hawk, <laughs> I would say maybe a little bit unhealthy. Okay. Like maybe she wakes up early. I'm just guessing. <laughs> you do have the vibe of someone who wakes up early. Yeah, she doesn't. You got that feeling. You, you definitely, definitely do. do. Definitely. I mean like okay. I have thoughts that I'll <laughs> <laughs> Is this your final Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Where do we think Good it goes? Good luck, high five. Uh, wow. um, turn it towards us a little bit. Yeah, I think oh. it's right. Yeah, I think All right. I'll, okay, I'll leave it right as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I like the pencil good, where it is. I think it's a healthy thing to do. Yeah. All right. Your agree. body needs to sleep as much as it needs to yes, sleep. Yes, it does. We're good there. Okay. okay. Reveal it. Reveal it. <laughs> Reveal it. <gasps> Moment of truth. Oh! oh! Point. Shoot. And yellow gets nothing. I, I have a question I though. Shouldn't we just have late. one? We start you with start one. With you start with one. Oh, we start with one. Yeah. Yeah. Second, yeah. Yeah. second team. So All right, close it up. I sleep Maria. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, you're a late yeah. sleeper. Okay. Well, I am because yeah. I work late. And she's expressed to me and that I she's like scared to get a grown up job because. Oh. Yeah. Of, because like of adjusting to yeah. the early wow. mornings. Wow. Mm. Do you know what? I have the same yeah. fear. <laughs> I, yeah. have, I have experienced that fear. All right. So I wanted a clue that was. On the healthy side, your body probably needs it, and it would be a good thing if you had it, but it's not like the most healthy thing. It's also not unhealthy if you're only doing it once in a while, but that wasn't a thing I said out loud, so we'll just go with it. All right, everybody. Comedy drama. <laughs> the wave Ooh, like this, comedy, comedy drama. Ooh. Okay. And this is a very, okay, I'm just gonna go, with, I'm just gonna say it. I love it. Okay. Little Miss Sunshine. Mm. Oh. oh. Okay. All right. Well, that's like I would say it's more of a comedy than a drama. Wait. Oh. I don't know. That's a really honestly quite difficult. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, it might actually be more of a drama than a comedy. Yeah. But like. But not a lot. It's, it's real right. In the it's real there. close. It's definitely yeah, yeah. in the middle there. Uh, I think. Gosh. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, no, maybe even left of that? Or were you going to go right? I was going to go slightly right. 
more of a drama than a cat. There, it does get pretty Slightly heavy. Slightly more. You're right. Okay, I don't hate that. Give me, tell me, you don't tell like me, one how, more? tell me how far. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Just uh, you want what? Do you do what you were gonna do, and then <laughs> that's what I was gonna do. That's what you're gonna do. I was do? gonna do it. Just really small I'm good with two clicks. Picks. I'm good with two clicks. We're good. All right. There. We're good there. I, I would say. I think she. I think she picked that specifically to be directly in the middle. Yeah, I, I would say put that it on the other instinct. side to okay. more towards yeah. comedy. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh boy, I'm so bad at revealing this. Some hold, of my, hold low. Hold the bottom here. Hold yeah. the bottom. Yeah, and then, and then just flip it. Uh. Oh! oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 To me, it is more of a comedy. Yeah, same. Uh, but to it be is fair, a dark, that's like it's a dark comedy. That's like so. exactly what we right. had right. on the right. other side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dang yeah. it! The first thing that popped into my head was Little Miss Sunshine because. You know, I think it was marketed as a comedy. There's some really funny moments in it, but there are also some really sad moments in it. So, like, for me, it came down to, I think, how the movie was presented, which was a comedy. But when you went to the theaters to watch it, you're like, whoa, I'm getting hit in the feels with this movie. It's also kind of a drama. So while I would say it's closer to being a comedy, based on what I said, it's also got a lot of drama-heavy elements, so it's not going to be over here, but it's going to be like... Right here. Spin that machine. Spin that machine. We got to spin that machine. Spin that machine. She does not like roll off the tongue as a chant. It doesn't. Why don't you spin the machine now? <laughs> don't you? All right, crack it open all the way. So it's uh, the thing is, is it is important to when you're when you're the psychic, when you're the person who knows, to open the window all the way. So if you only open it halfway, right, then the person knows, your team knows where it is on the wheel. So you got to open it all the way. Mm-hmm. Replaceable, irreplaceable. Oh. Oh. Replaceable, irreplaceable. Okay. Oh. Like a photo book that your <laughs> sister that you don't really talk too much uh, <laughs> um, made for you on like Shutterfly. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> so briefly, for just a second, the rules do specifically state that you have to say something that does exist and. That, that, that thing. Being married to this woman, I can tell you, that is 100% <laughs> the thing. That we do. So you did, you did follow the rules yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. That is yeah. absolutely a thing that we all. Okay, about. so your sister, who you don't really talk to, made you a photo book on Shutterfly. On Shutterfly. Okay. On Shutterfly. On, so, on Shutterfly is the real kicker. Yeah. Here. Shutterfly yeah. is not um, responsible for this. Okay. <laughs> so, so Shutterfly, if you're watching, <laughs> I would say it trends a little bit more towards replaceable. Towards replaceable? Or sorry, towards irreplaceable. That's right. I would agree. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but not a ton because Shutterfly will have those images forever. Can always reprint them if you told your sister that you needed another copy of the book. Mm, but, like, but you don't talk to her that right. much. So, so maybe like, you yeah. don't have that kind of communication. <laughs> that seems like a little too next level. The clue had like four different copies. <laughs> oh, yeah. <and> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I we'll just start with like. Maybe yeah. there is. Yeah. Oh. Because presumably the photos in the book m- mean more right. than the means by which they're delivered. Right. Or something. Or <laughs> something. Right. Yeah. Because if it was just any photo book, it might have more weight or not. Yes. Like it's more important. Like it was like, someone made with their hands. Right. Right. Yeah. It's not wedding photos of. Something. Your sure. sister that you don't really. Care. Yeah, they. Well. <laughs> <laughs> she made you a Shutterfly scrapbook of her own. <laughs> yeah. yeah right. sure. I'm good with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There's 100% yeah. left. Okay, you got it. Because it's, right. it's, it's, it's on Shutterfly. Shutterfly. You're married to her, all right. Yeah, it's 100% <laughs> left of that. But also, it's a real thing. It's not like she had to. She like made up that Just clue. Just print off another one. Oh, reveal it. So reveal it. Yeah. Ah! I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. So my reasoning behind the clue of a Shutterfly book from your sister that you don't really talk to that much is because I wanted it to be something that was like for sure replaceable, but as annoying to replace as possible so that it was as close to the irreplaceable side as you wanted it to be. Because the book, you could get a new one, but you also could be okay with just never seeing it again. All right, what do we got? Role model, bad influence. Oh, influence. here we go. Okay. And this clue has been used in a previous game of Wink Blank. You say weasel. Okay. No. Fair. Um, Adam Sandler. Uh, no! no! <laughs> okay. But not for this category. Right. No, 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 no. Not for this 
he's so very good wavelength. He's so divisive. Yeah. yeah. Like, so anyways. here's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. He's a role model because he is famous, right? And right. so people look up to him. Young gentlemen of our age range. Unfortunately. Unfortunately yes. have modeled their lives on his Right, humor. but that's young Adam Sandler. And like older Adam Sandler <laughs> has done like has done like Spanglish <laughs> and Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems recently, but like what's the other one? Punch Drunk Love. What? Punch, Punch Drunk, Drunk Love. Love. And like he's not exactly a role model in those movies, but like yeah, I, ooh, he, I oh, think he, I think he's oh. a bad influence for sure. Okay, and, but right. I'm like trying. Okay, this is what I think <laughs> Megan thinks. <laughs> what about Little Nicky? Ooh, that's yeah. Bad. Oh, Little oh, Nicky little 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 by bad. itself it's puts so it back. So bad. Little. All right, I'm good with that. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go with that. Um, I mean like. What do you? I I think I just hate Adam Sandler. Yeah, I, I don't think of him as a role model. I think you should want some more right. Yeah, I. Move, yeah, I think move it to the right. Yeah, I think it's the right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right, man. Oh boy, we go. where are we at? So yeah, well, go ahead. So this does like right on the line, and the rules do state that whenever it is right on the line, the psychics team always gets the benefit of the doubt. Okay. So they All always right. get the. All right. Get the I know that. Psychic yeah. powers. <laughs> I picked Adam Sandler because I think that while we can agree that um, his earlier works, is particularly, um, are maybe not the best influence, um, he's also not the worst influence that you could possibly have. I mean, he's still a successful movie man. So, you know, getting the job done. The continuum is underrated movie versus Ooh, overrated movie. Oh, spicy. Little Nicky. You don't watch a lot of movies. Yeah. My clue is <laughs> she's the man. Yes. Wow. Just so we're all clear. Hey, don't give them any help. Yeah, the don't. best movie of all time, my personal opinion. <laughs> Wow, okay. Um, I have not seen She's the Man. Okay. My sisters love She's the Man. Good. Like, I feel like so many Emily jokes. probably loves She's the Man. I don't <laughs> look at her. Oh, 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 oh. Don't. Just do no. not. <laughs> okay, here's my, here's my instinct. Um... I think it's maybe a little far, but I don't disagree. Okay. Okay. Right? Yeah. You can go back, like, a couple. Okay. But I feel like it could possibly be something that she feels so strongly about that it's, like, a thing. Mm-hmm. I don't... What's She's the Man? Mm-hmm. Which one's but that? But again, is this... Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes, like, it's, the, it's, a re, uh, it's a retelling of... Twelfth Night. Twelfth Night. Twel- oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Just sort of After like, we watch Shrill, we'll watch She's the Man. Man. I own it on Amazon movies, okay? <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> yeah. It is... I guess, yeah. Wave blank surfers? Yeah, yeah. So like, wave blank surfers. I, I feel like, about it. But also, I feel like there's, like, the question of, is this underrated in the terms of underrated movies in general? Or no. like, is we never the, know what spectrum we're on. Mm. Or wavelength. <laughs> this is why this is hard. Ah. I know. I feel that that's okay. I feel okay about this. You good? Yeah, I think so. We're going left. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Left. For sure, left. <laughs> left. 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 <laughs> okay. Reveal it. I'm so nervous. Reveal it. Oh! oh no! I thought I knew you better than that. Well, well, set. So I, I think it's overrated. By some, like Megan, and like me, <laughs> but by the general public, it is very underrated. Yeah. So the big fans are really big fans, yes. but generally it's not. I love that you qualify yourself as someone who well. also loves it too much. Too much, yeah. <laughs> so I guess I made this choice because I'm a really big She's the Man fan, but in general, I feel like the general public have not seen it and don't know how good it is, which is why I would say someone that knows me, which clearly my teammates didn't, uh, would guess it would be right in the middle. All right, oh so we Sorry. have done. Sorry, we have done. Uh, so the score is currently seven to four, and we've done a full lap. Yeah. Yeah. How does everybody feel? This good. game is great. Yeah. Yes. yes. Great. This game is so, so good. And but it's like perfect and pretty simple. I can't believe it wasn't made before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. For sure. And it feels yeah. like a game you can take to any group. 
Right. Like, mm -hmm. It's easy enough to, to get, it's even, even easier than like the other like, um, prediction type mm -hmm. games that we've played. Sort of like just here. one. Yeah, but it's even, but, well, that one's pretty simple, but just like the concept of it is really universal and people. Yes. Yep. The and box does say that it will play up to 12, but it does say 12 plus. So I feel like it just like 12 is sort of like everybody probably will get a chance to do we the machine. We played it with 10 and yeah, we and didn't get just through a whole circle. Sure. Yeah. So. so I feel like any more than that, you have to like do a couple laps or increase the score. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I I will add to the straightforwardness. The design of it is so simple, and it's so nice to look at. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, box of the year. We've already said yeah, the, the box should box absolutely. Year. I mean, you you play this game inside the box, right? Like it all it really makes like my this much back happy. down. Yeah. Up. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. gorgeous. It is an absolute, and like the art design. Absolutely. It's so nice. Yes. I've recommended yeah. this game now to a bunch of people, mm -hmm. and two of the people that I've recommended it, like, basically I'm saying, if you don't buy this game, we're not friends anymore, sure. have mm -hmm. bought it and have said that it has been an absolute hit at their yeah. parties. I completely agree. I like this game because I could imagine myself bringing it to play with my grandpa, and if he was on the opposing team, I wouldn't get mad and competitive. I would just want to know what he had to say. What is that? <laughs> yeah, I like that it's not like a mean game where you get competitive with the yeah. other players. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I would I will also say that playing this game with friends or playing this game with people you know well lends itself to clues like she's the man or Adam Sandler, <laughs> right? Where you have to like think, okay, not only do I have to guess where I would put that, but where did right. the person who actually gave the clue yeah. Yeah. Totally. put that? It also created the great, like, is a ferret pointy or round debate. <laughs> We're going to get into that <laughs> at a later it's time. It's a parrot pointy or round. Uh, there it pointy. is. Uh, so, pointy. just like a universal <laughs> recommendation. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, completely, I completely agree. I think that Wavelengths is one of the best party games that's ever been made. Um, the pedigree is solid with the designers, um, and the, the there's no game company that produces it, but Asmodee North America is distributing it. It is currently available at your friendly local game store, so if you know what is good for you, you will go out and buy this game. <laughs> Right now. That's uh, it for us in this episode, but uh, we're going to finish this game. You go buy your own and play yours. Wavelength is a phenomenal party game, even challenging channel favorite just one for top honors. Let's go through our checklist before I give you my final thoughts. In the box, rulebook clear and non-gender pronouns. While the rulebook itself is small, it is a little bit dense, but it does a great job giving you examples not only how to play, but also how to give clues and insight on how to score every one of them clues. It also does this without using any gendered pronouns. Iconography clear. You're only dealing in continuum, so there's no iconography to parse. An argument can be made that the target wedge is iconographic, but like, that's really splitting hairs. Packaging well done. This box is phenomenal. Seriously, it should win every award. You stand the machine up inside the box and everything stays in it while you play. So much thought and effort was put into this design, it's beyond fantastic and almost worth the price of admission by itself. On the table, good representation. Party games generally abstain from this category with few exceptions. You're just yourselves, having fun with your friends. Component quality. Outstanding. The cardboard score tokens and opposing team pencil are pretty standard fare, as are the continuum cards. However, the machine itself is a work of art, getting even better the more you play. Replay value. Infinite. Seriously, due to the variable nature of not only the cards in combination with where exactly the scoring wedge lands, but also the people you're playing with, leads to as wide a game experience as you can possibly get. Even if you manage to get the exact same card with the exact same team, the position of the wedge is likely going to be slightly different, and the fact that the continuum edges themselves aren't defined, you can take this one literally as far as you can imagine. Fun to lose. Yes. While getting disappointed by your team on several turns in a row is a bummer, games really do land in about the half hour mark, meaning that a score reset and a new chance is just around the corner. Plus, all it really takes is one hit of the center on the wedge to feel like you won, no matter what the score. Wavelength is a rare bird, combining a near-perfect physical experience with such an open-ended mechanic that it comes close to being the perfect party game. With no practical upper player bound, though anything more than 12 and you risk the game ending before everyone gets a chance at the wheel, Wavelength has almost no downside. It works well at four, though really it's only going to get better the more people you have. There are very few games we recommend more than this one. If you find a copy at your local game shop, buy it. And buy another one for a friend. I'm Nicholas, reminding you to help protect the game population. Always leave your cards. <laughs>
Hey everyone, if you enjoyed that video, please hit that sub button and check out all of our other offerings at goodluckhighfive.com. And please consider becoming a patron of the channel at patreon.com slash glhfmagic and help us keep making reviews, videos, and podcasts for as little as $5 a month. We're also always looking for new games to review, so if you make games or you know a company who does and wants to have their game reviewed on Good Luck High Five, please reach out to us at glhf at goodluckhighfive.com and we'd be happy to take a look. You can follow me, Captain N, the Game Master, on Twitter and Instagram at CaptainNGM, and follow the channel at GLHF Magic. Remember, please shop at your local game store whenever possible. Until next time, I'm Nicholas, and good luck, high five.